Hi, this is Wolfgang with 6L Designs. Today I'm making a video about plasma cutting and uh, like everything has two sides, every coin has two sides, so does plasma cutting. Everybody's excited about the possibilities that come with the technology, but like everything else, plasma cutting has also another side to it. And that side is maintenance. I have a water table and with that water table come things that aren't as pleasant as cutting. And that is cleaning and maintaining. And so today I'm just making a video to show kind of like all the steps that I have to undergo kind of like to make sure that my water tank, my water table stays clean and that I can cut on my machine without any problems. So let's get started. I made a little storage rack that I mounted right next to my plasma table on the wall where I keep all the tools that I need to maintain and clean my table. Bunch of shovels and uh, scrapers. I have also hanging right there a needle scaler to clean the slats and uh, a dedicated grinder to cut up the remaining web after I'm done cutting. So here are the parts that I have there. So there is a box of gloves because it's a messy affair to clean the table. I took a uh, plastic dust pan and drilled holes in it. And because of the weight, I, I built a, a metal one just to deal with the weight of the slag to pull out of the table. Here's a scraper um, that I've made just out of a piece of flat stock a slag hammer and a squeegee. Like sometimes when I'm cutting, I have all this water sitting on top of my plate. And so I take that squeegee to get it off the plate and back in a tank. Here is the needle scaler that I use to clean the slats. My grease gun and a can of DW40 just to keep everything lubricated and clean. Here's some, um, Didactic grease for contacts, a long nose needle plier to be able to remove parts during cutting. And I have a magnet that will allow me to pick up drops. And then my dedicated little Milwaukee uh, four and a half inch grinder that I use to cut up the remaining web when I'm done cutting. So all these tools I need to keep going on my plasma table. My Sharp Saver plasma table has a drain incorporated into the bottom of the tank on the back side. And so right at the moment, I'm just draining all uh, the water out of my tank to be able to take the slats out and clean it up. It's a mess, but necessary, and it needs to be done. While my tank is still draining, I have a chance to start removing the slats. These are eight inch by three pieces of flat stock that I have cut and put in. And so kind of like I have a chance to use them uh, twice. So I, when, when one side is bad from cutting, I can flip them over and use them for the other side. But kind of like I have to remove all the draws and the slag that basically adheres while I'm starting to cut. So I have to get them all out to be able to clean out my table. And it, it takes a little bit of time. And it's not necessarily my favorite thing, thing to do, but I'm just... very particular in regards to how clean my equipment is. And so here we go, getting all the slats out. Before I start cleaning out the tank, I basically move my uh, scrap metal dumpster right next to my water tank. And then it's all about getting started to get all this stuff loose. Kind of like it's a lot of shoveling and scraping to make sure that 
guy all this stuff that's been settling for a couple weeks and months uh, gets loose and kind of like I made a little shovel out of steel uh, because my plastic shovel that I originally started out with just was a little bit too weak to deal with all the weight of all that slag and frost and all those parts and components but it's labor intensive but it's necessary to get this stuff out because otherwise it's a mess. This is what it looks like without the slats and the water. Big mess. But half of the table is done. I dump it all into my scrap metal container and get it recycled like everything else. After I removed the slats, I normally let them sit and dry for a little. And then I use a needle scaler to clean off the slag of those, those uh, slats so they go back into the table nicely and fit the slots and um, just allows me kind of like to make sure that I have good contact for grounding and all that kind of stuff and um, and then basically I have a chance to use the other side of these slats and uh, basically just it takes a little bit of time but the needle scale really does quick work of it and it's really nice to have all this stuff come off and have these slats back as clean as possible again. In case you were wondering what I do with the water, so I built this uh, basin, this little tank that fits underneath my table. This is where I drain all the water in and it's pretty tight so Sometimes it takes me a little time to, to get it out, but um, I'm able to remove kind of like all the content all at once and drain it because the additive in there is biodegradable and so it's just water. It's nice to be able to do it that easily and quickly. So when it's all cleaned up, it's basically just putting the slats back into the table and filling it back up with water and adding some additive to it to uh, minimize the effect of rust uh, in the tank. And then you're basically good to go and it feels like starting to work on a new machine. So with that said, if you liked this video and felt like you got some good information out of it, Feel free to like, share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and see you the next time.